My coverage of CES 2018 from Las Vegas, Nevada is brought to you by Cooler Master, Enermax, OCZ Toshiba, and Deepcool. All right, guys, I'm over here uh, with Toshiba, and I'm gonna check out some OCZ products, some new storage products that they have here. We're, we're at the Westgate, the Westgate in a suite. I don't know why I've been keen on pointing out to you guys where I am every time, but anyway, point being, uh, there's a really tiny NVMe SSD and there's an external uh, SSD that you can use for really fast external storage with USB uh, Type-C 3.1 Gen 2. So starting off here with this really tiny NVMe SSD. And if you guys remember last year, actually, uh, I came over here to check out the uh, Toshi Toshiba stuff and they showed me this little guy teeny tiny little SSD. So basically you have the SSD, the actual NAND flash storage itself, and a controller on this teeny tiny little chip. Well, they've actually taken that and implemented it into a product. So that is what we're looking at here, the RC100 series. Uh, this is gonna be available in 120, 240, and 480 gig capacities, uh, at least at launch. They're looking about Q2 uh, when it comes to launch, so maybe April, May timeframe. And as far as pricing goes, I don't wanna talk about pricing right now because NAND has been very expensive, memory has been very expensive, prices have been very high. So the prices I might say for this right now are probably gonna be more than what hopefully it will be in the future because we're really hoping that the prices start to come down. As far as the 240 gig model uh, that they have here, uh, they're talking about a sub $200 price point, so I guess we can leave it at that. Uh, beyond that though, you have a teeny tiny SSD as apparently on the Toshiba uh, social media, they, they tweeted a picture and somebody said, what is this, an SSD for ants? Anyway, that's my best attempt at a Zoolander impersonation. Uh, but of course you get the benefits of NVMe, which is uh, more power efficient. And then of course you get uh, potential NVMe SSD speeds. Now, NVMe SSDs can be very, very fast, but they can also be very, very expensive. So this one's gonna sort of hit that sweet spot between being expensive and being fast. So we're looking at about 1600 megabytes per second uh, reads, and we're looking at about 1100 megabytes per second writes, which is definitely significantly faster than your typical SATA drive, uh, about three times faster, at least when it comes to the reads. So that's really nice. Uh, if you can load up an operating system on this, uh, if you can load up a bunch of games, they're gonna load really fast and you're gonna have a good time. So it being very small, of course, it's gonna be able to fit into very small devices. Uh, it is actually a 2242, uh, so 22 millimeters wide and 42 millimeters long. You might be more familiar with like 2280 is uh, your typical NVMe SSD that we get these days. So quick comparison, here's their uh, RD400, which I've used a lot in this past year, uh, really solid NVMe SSD. This one's, this one's still out and it's uh, gonna be faster than that one, but uh, it's also a little bit more expensive. But that's 2280. That's 2242, and this is the RC100, and it's very small and cute. Oh yeah, also really small form factor PCs, like an Intel Nook, or like the, the little mini PCs that I showed you guys uh, over at the Zotac booth. Uh, if you didn't watch the Zotac video, check that out. It should be up on my CES 2018 playlist. Let's move over to the next product here. This is the XS700. We're keeping it simple over here at uh, the Toshiba suite, and we just have two products to show you. This is an external SATA SSD. So basically you have effectively a SATA SSD in there. It's gonna connect, of course, by uh, USB uh, Type-C. It's USB 3.1 Gen 2, which provides plenty of bandwidth. Uh, you are gonna get uh, SATA speeds on this drive, though. You're gonna get about 530 megabytes per second reads, and you're gonna get about 480 megabytes per second writes. Very nice read and write speeds if you're comparing this to uh, other external devices, uh, you know, like your typical USB thumb drive or that kind of thing. So if you want to use this to, say, video edit on the go, or if you need uh, let's say you, you go to lots of LAN parties and you want to take your entire Steam library and transfer it really quickly to your friends so they don't have to download the games, that kind of thing. This is going to be a great solution for that. I've actually been using external 2.5 inch SSDs uh, like the TR200. You guys have uh, seen this on my channel. I've used it in a few builds recently. I use these with just a little SATA external adapter, which is effective, but also not necessarily the most durable. These SATA plugs can be... Uh, well, they, you can snap them off if you tweak them at the wrong angle. So having something that's completely contained like this, it's got the USB-C connector. They're also gonna include a type A adapter for it. So you can plug it into legacy USB ports. And that is the XS700 from Toshiba. Now this one's only gonna be available in a 240 gig capacity uh, right at launch, but based on popularity and feedback from fans like you, uh, they might bring it in in a higher capacity as well. Maybe 480? Maybe we will even see a one terabyte version in the future. I just made that up. They might do that, they might not. 
But guys, that's going to wrap it up for my quick coverage here at the Toshiba Suite here at the West Gates. And of course, Toshiba is a sponsor for this year's coverage of CES 2018. So a huge thank you to them, as well as my other sponsors, Cooler Master, Enermax, as well as Decool. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hit the thumbs up button if you, if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel or check out the CES 2018 playlist for more coverage. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.